Chloe, I'm sorry I missed you at the door today. Um, my son was out shoveling and I, I heard someone out there. I thought it was still him and it might have been you and ah, I'm not sure what happened there. But I'm so sorry I missed you and uh, ultimately I thought I'd send you a video of some material that you could work away on and it has to do with fingerstyle guitar. So let's get started. On this hand, when we finger when we play fingerstyle, uh, the thumb is P, I, M, and A. Uh, P is the thumb, I is the index finger, M is the middle finger, the ring finger is A. Uh, these are Italian terms. I, I, I can't remember what they are. I knew them at one time. Uh, we don't use the baby finger. Uh, the thumb uh, basically takes care of this territory, the sixth string, the fifth string, and the fourth string. So the top one, uh, second top, and third top one. Uh, strings are numbered from the bottom, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So the top string is six, so that's string six, five, and four. Basically are the territory of the thumb. We'll try and keep the thumb forward, like that, and the fingers curled back a bit. Uh, the index finger handles the third string. The middle finger handles the second string, and the ring finger has the first string. So it's uh, P, uh, P, P, I, M, and A. <clears throat> now there are different finger style patterns. So a, a real basic pattern is that uh, you would use uh, the thumb on the sixth string, and the uh, index finger on the um, third string, middle finger on the second string, and the ring finger on the first string. So that's uh, P, I, M, A, P, I, M, A. And you see how I keep the thumb forward? Fingers are curled back. That's so that, uh, it just looks like that. That's so that my thumb doesn't run into my index finger. If you, like a lot of beginners play like this, and some people anchor their, their baby finger down. That's a really not a great um, habit to get into. A lot of guitar players do it. Um, see John Mayer, people like that who really quite good guitar players, very good guitar players. Doing that, it doesn't help them become a better guitar player. Uh, it actually hinders them. Um, yeah, I know he doesn't sound like he's hindered too badly, but um, it does. So there are certain chords that have a sixth string bass. And th that, those are the ones where you'd use a pattern like this, where you play the sixth string, third, second, and first. So I've sent you charts for that, and you'll see the first chart says sixth string bass chords, and the first chord is G. So you you could play that where you play the sixth string when you put the chord on with this hand, and you play the sixth string, third, second, and first. And not all those strings have fingers on them, and not all the strings that you have fingers on get picked. But that that means that this is a form, a standard form, and then we pick some of the strings. There are different picking patterns where you'll pick the inside ones, like that. Uh, there's patterns where you pick like that. So there's all kinds of different patterns. I'm, I'll show them to you at, at some point along the way. But this is a good first pattern where you play the sixth string with your, your P, I, M, and A. The second chord on the sheet is an E minor that. Third chord is an E major. And you have a D slash F sharp. That means D with an F sharp in the bass. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> then a C with a G in the bass. E7. G major 7. Now these don't sound good together because they're all in different keys. So you could put together a, um, a collection of, or sorry, you could select out two or three of them that sound good together. <clears throat> and the four that I think sound really great together, quite good together are G, E minor, D with F sharp in the bass, or that would be D slash F sharp, and, um, and C uh, with a G in the bass. So that would, could sound like this. G, play it a couple of times. And E minor, play it a couple of times. D with F sharp in the bass, C with G in the bass, G, I didn't play that completely correctly, E minor, D with F sharp in the bass, C with G in the bass, there we go, 
and G. And that could make a really nice little pattern that you could just go ahead and play. There are chords with the fifth string in the bass. And that means that you can still play the same notes that you played uh, with your I, M, and A, but the thumb, P, moves down to the fifth string. So that could be a regular C. It would look like this. You'd notice the thumb played the fifth string, then third, second, first. C major seven. That's the next chord. F. Looks like really an F with a C in the bass. C seven. A. A minor. And once again, these aren't meant to go together. They're just <clears throat> a collection. B seven. G over B, uh, A minor 7, C suspended 4th, and A sus 2. So I could put together a collection of these 5th string bass chords that could go together and sound quite nice. And they might be this. Uh, C, I'm going to play them twice again. Uh, C, F, A minor, with the B in the bass. C. F. A minor. G with B in the bass. G slash B. And then uh, that'd be a nice little progression. The last page are strings with a fourth string bass. So that means that the thumb migrates uh, to the fourth string. And we have fourth string, third string first. If I look at the D chord that's there, that's fourth string with the thumb, P, I, M, A. And then F, F major seven, F major nine, D minor, A with a D, D seven, etc., etc. Like I said before, these aren't meant to go together, they're just a, a collection of. Uh, of them and then you can build progressions. So I might start off with the D, F major 9, that sounds pretty good. And then G with a D in the bass. So I might do something like uh, D, again, two bars for each one. One, two, uh, one. F, major seven, sorry, <laughs> D, let's start that again, D, F major seven, G with a D in the bass, D, D again, F major nine, that's what I wanted, G, and then D. mix and match chords with different um, bass notes and start to build some chord progressions. So that's basically how it works. It's a PIMA thumb uh, going on the sixth string, fifth string, or fourth string, depending on the kind of chord it is. That tells you that on that, um, on that page. And then uh, just picking different chords and making, just making up chord progressions. Be a good project for you for the week. Hope you have a good week. Take care.